The aforementioned James Gunn and, of course, Peter Safran, who now run DC, uh, and he is like kind of the chosen one, I guess, the guy who has had one foot in both worlds. He's been a successful director in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. He's had success in DC. And of course, now there's a whole new era of DC coming where he's doing stuff. But that's not to say that James Gunn doesn't have some sharp critiques for certain things that are present in the comic book genre. Now, it was interesting. He was answering a question about, are you overcrowding the new Superman movie? Because some people think, well, okay, you got Superman, you got Lois, you got uh, Nicholas Holtz, now going to be Lex Luthor. Uh, Nathan Fillion is Guy Gardner. You got the dude from Twilight, uh, is playing Mr. Terrific. You got a hot girl uh, and, and, and a couple of other characters. Now, of course, that's kind of a ridiculous thing to worry about. It's like, that's seven characters right there. Every movie has like that mm -hmm. and many, many, many more. Like just for giggles, I opened up the IMDb for Barbie. Got Margot Robbie, Issa Rae, Kate McKinnon, uh, Emma McKay, Hari Neff. You got uh, Anna Cruz Kane, uh, Dua Lipa. Then you get into the Kens. We haven't even gotten to the Kens yet. Ryan Gosling, Simu Liu, Kingsley Ben Adir, who of course was recently in uh, Secret Wars. Uh, Scott Evans, John Cena, Michael Sarah as Alan. He was actually really good as Alan in there. America Ferreira. Uh, Ariana Greenblatt, Ray Perlman was in it, who was great. Helen Mirren, Will Ferrell was in it. I mean, we're up to like over 10, 12, 13, 14 <laughs> characters already. But listen, if I open up Oppenheimer's IMDb, same thing. The only difference is with these comic book movies is that you know, you recognize the name of the characters. And all of a sudden it feels like it's overcrowded. No, most movies will have many characters and they have a role to play in the movie, but they're just characters you don't know, so you don't even think about it. Anyway, James Gunn was referring to that when he brought up a criticism about the genre itself. He said this, this, this comes to us from Men's Journal, where Gunn said the following. The whole point was it's not a large film, talking about Superman Legacy. I mean, not in terms of cast. It's normal for single protagonist films to have other characters. Much more unusual for them not to, and he's absolutely right about that. He went on to share his most hated element of modern superhero films, prevalent in Marvel's recent output. I call that cameo porn, and it has been one of the worst elements in recent superhero films. If a character is in a film, they have to have a reason to be there story-wise. First of all, let me put on my church robes and say, Amen! I've been preaching that gospel for a while. I've, I've, I've been saying this for a while. I've started going crazy about just stupid pop-up cameos. Like, oh, this is great because this cameo happened. I'm only, I only like cameos if it's like they have a narrative purpose for being there. And that's exactly what James Gunn is saying. Is that they've got to have a, there's got to be a story point to them being in there. It can't just be, oh, hi guys. Remember I was in that one movie? Bye. Like, <laughs> and so many, it seems to be the trend about who can pop up in this movie. Right, and the, even us as fans, that's become a big thing with us as fans. Like when a new movie's coming, I was like, "Oh, do you think so and so is going to pop up? Do you think so and so is going to do a cameo? Do you think so and so is do?" And it's become. I love the way James Gunn puts it. It's cameo porn. Well, and it's also like a major selling point in their trailers now. Mm -hmm. So it's like, yeah. okay, well, even if it has nothing to do with the movie, yeah, it's like, behold, this character's there, everybody, mm -hmm. for no reason whatsoever. I mean, there's a good way to do it and a bad way to do it. A great example of a good way to do it is like Nathan Fillion in Guardians of the Galaxy Three. That captain of the guard is actually, there's a story point to that character. Forget that Nathan Fillion's playing the character. Like if you've got a character that has a story purpose, whether or not it's played by an actor you know, or the role, <laughs> pardon me, the role is being filled by a character you know, as long as if you take away the famous actor out of it, did that role need to be there in the movie? And the captain of the guard did. And they just decided, you know what, let's put Nathan Fillion in that role. They weren't like, let's find an excuse to put Nathan Fillion in the movie. No, it was like, there's this role, there's this character we have, and it'd be great if Nathan Fillion played it. Boom. And so there's two kind of things he's covering here. One is movie fans get way too, they too quickly go to the question, it's like, are they overcrowding this movie? Guys, this is a normal amount of characters for most mm -hmm. movies. And then the second thing is about our obsession with cameo porn. And I, I agree with what he's saying there. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, 
HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable, and that's why it's America's number one meal kit. Say hello to a stressless holiday season with the help of HelloFresh. Skip the grocery store and save time with easy, tasty recipes delivered right to your door. Because tis the season for giving and gathering. And with HelloFresh, it can also be the season of saving. Actually save money this month with fresh recipes delivered cheaper than takeout and with pre-portioned ingredients, you'll never waste money on excess food again. You know guys, I've often talked about that Anne and I are both working professionals and it can be a struggle around dinner time to get healthy and delicious meals put together. But with HelloFresh, they make it easy, they make it fun, and they make it delicious. So guys, go to HelloFresh.com slash CampiaFree and use the code CampiaFree for free breakfast for life. One breakfast item per box while subscription is active. That's free breakfast for life at HelloFresh.com slash CampiaFree with the code CampiaFree. Anyway, Chris, you heard the stuff that James is talking about. What position do you take on this? Honestly, the first thing that came to mind, though, was his suicide squad of, okay, but I understood they served a purpose, but everyone, for the most part, who went on the press tour for that movie were the people who were killed within a one-minute span. <laughs> and it was, oh, my gosh, I can't believe Pete Davidson is part of the suicide squad. This is going to be really interesting. I'm wondering what they're going to do with them murdered <laughs> and it does show exactly how the suicide squad works right that there are real stakes and these characters can be killed off immediately but that i feel is another example of kind of a stunt casting situation i think sometimes the cameos work and sometimes they don't this is something we've talked about at nauseum when it comes to deadpool 3 right with how overstuffed this feels of everybody and their mom is in this movie is that going to actually serve a purpose or is it just to have all of these folks in there if they do serve a purpose ultimately that leads to oh wow look the multiverse is fucking bananas ah, then i can see how you can justify it but i don't know i don't i don't feel like a lot of these have been particularly egregious i haven't seen a lot of these movies and gone wow this is so useless i wish they utilized the people in like say dr strange more I wish there was bigger payoff to that as opposed to, again, showing there were real world stakes and people could just be murdered immediately, much like in Suicide Squad. But I, I don't think it's been this conti this continued like member berry, we're just doing this as fan service kind of thing yet. That honestly is my very big fear with Deadpool 3. Mm. See, the, thing, the nice thing about the Suicide Squad example <laughs> is that that whole scene, that, that opening scene with that first group of Suicide Squad getting all murdered, that that was a scene that needed to be in the movie. And it but it's just that even if it wasn't Pete Davidson, and even if it wasn't Nathan Fillion, those characters would need to be there to serve the purpose of the story about showing what happens sure. to them, all that kind of stuff. And then filling it with famous faces, I have no problem with that because if the characters needed to be there anyway, mm -hmm. that's fine. The one advantage, the one thing that worked for them, putting all these names as playing those characters, was that. While I did not necessarily think that they were going to play big roles throughout the whole movie, I remember I'm sitting down to watch Suicide Squad and thinking, because it's all these big names, it shocked me when they killed them all instantly, <laughs> right? Like, if it was just, like, no-name kind of day actors playing those roles, I would have yeah. gone, oh, wow, they killed her. Mm -hmm. But it was because all these big names were in there. It's like, what? They're all just dead? <laughs> It's so it actually served even that served a purpose, I suppose. I feel like Michael should be very concerned that James just kills him all the time. You know, <laughs> yeah. I, I would question my friendship a little. I'd be like, thank you so much for always putting me in your movies. Could I killing could you. I not die or <laughs> become be disgusting? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> hey, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called The John Campion Show Podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.